Hello and good morning from Bucharest. I'm in the hotel near the Otopeni airport, headed towards the airport, for my Tarom A318 flight to London Heathrow. So I wanted to take a bus to the airport. There was a line 442, but that one was like delayed for a bunch of minutes and there, there, there was an, another bus coming in. It was 447, I think, line 447, which also apparently, according to Google Maps, goes to the, well, stops at the airport. But apparently stops at a different platform than the than the other one, the a platform which is a bit further away from the airport. So now I gotta walk to the airport. But like it's not a big issue for me because uh, still have uh, plenty of time. So not a problem, I guess. They even got a train station at the airport here, which is quite cool. I mean, it's quite normal. It's, it's not. It's nothing special, but like we don't we don't have it in Bratislava, right? All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to lovely Bucharest Henry Coanda Otopeni International Airport. There seems to be a construction ongoing over here. They're reconstructing a parking lot, and that's the terminal. And this is the tower shot. I mean the shower dot. Shower dot. Alright, since I've already done my check-in, I'm gonna head straight to security. But first, I'm gonna check out the terminal real quick. Yes, this is my flight. Since I've already done my check-in, let's head to the security check. Oh well, I'm back here in this part of the terminal because I found out the security check is right over here. So I finally passed the security check and right after passing it I already found out from the departure board that the gate for my flight has been assigned. Gate 9, so this way. This is the Schengen part of the terminal. But since I'm flying to the UK, I have to go through passport control to get to my gate. I got myself some water and a coke, let's head to the passport check. So UK is non Schengen, so I suppose uh, I'm gonna go down to the passport control. Okay, so maybe the gate 9 is up. I misread the signs. Okay, found my gate. So here we are in the non Schengen section of Bucharest Otopeni Airport. So the A318 I'm flying on today just departed from uh, Istanbul. Should be landing here in less than an hour here in Bucharest and then it will take me to London Heathrow. So, while waiting for the A318 to arrive from Istanbul, I, of course, did some plane spotting. And I also caught the landing of the A318, so here it is. Here is some more plane spotting before the A318 arrives to my gate. And here it is, finally arriving to my gate. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this cute A318, also called the Baby Bus, will take me to London Heathrow today. This 18-year-old aircraft was delivered to Tarom in 2006. Throughout the years, Tarom operated a total of four A318s. Sadly, this is the last active Baby Bus that they've got. The other three were already retired. Now, the Romanian airline is planning on removing the type from their fleet completely very soon, so I'm glad I had the chance to fly on this rare plane. By the way, only 80 Airbus A318s were produced between 2003 and 2013, when the production stopped due to its unpopularity in the aviation industry. As I was getting ready to board my flight, I encountered this. How did a bird get inside the airport? What? Well, after that typical Romanian experience, it was time for me to get inside the A318. Hello. Thank you.
This A318 is named after Aurel Vlaicu, a Romanian engineer, inventor, airplane constructor and a pilot. Alright, so welcome on board the cute little baby bus A318. Now, upon entering this aircraft, I already noticed that it's quite aged. The edge of this aircraft is right here on the screen right now. Um, yeah, but other than that, it looks cute. It's just like any other A320 family aircraft, but smaller and cuter. And I got two windows again. I've been getting two windows on my flights recently, quite a lot. Let's check out the seat itself right now, shall we? So as I previously mentioned in this video, the aircraft looked quite aged. The cabin was dated, a bit worn out, but still functional. The in-flight magazine and the safety card and so on came inside this plastic packaging, which could be found inside the seat pocket in front. The seat itself was comfortable, nothing to complain about here. The only disadvantage, we could say, was that it was old. But you know, I don't mind, because that was the point of actually coming here to Bucharest, to fly on the rare A318, because it will get retired soon. I also got this uh, old radio thing for headphones, old Airbuses, old Airbus A320 family aircraft this. I've never seen anyone use this, by the way. Interesting. These old-style airplane screens give me so much nostalgia. When I was a child, I used to fly with Flyniki a lot, an airline which sadly doesn't exist anymore, but I distinctly remember these screens from those flights. They were the same because, you know, Nikki also operated the A320 family of aircraft. <laughs> Now we just gotta wait for this Ryanair to depart and then it's our turn to take off.
The flight was super relaxing, despite the turbulence after the departure. Once we reached cruising altitude, the cabin crew commenced with the in-flight service, and since I pre-ordered a meal, I have received it even before the flight service started. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for food mood. So, the meal just arrived. Let's see what's inside. Two pieces of bread, some butter, a napkin, a wooden cutlery, some vegetables, the main food of course, which should be chicken meat with uh, mashed peas, green peas, and presumably a desert, dessert, sorry, not desert. I'll open it later. So this entire thing cost me 14 euros exactly. The mush peas are great, the chicken is fantastic. The beetroot also tastes like beetroot. After this I'll have this bread with the butter and then I'll also try the desert dessert. Jesus Christ. It's fantastic. It's a tiramisu. Wow. Very good meal. For 14 euros I would uh, I would say it was good. It was good. If it was cheaper it would be better. But like still like I don't mind paying 14 euros for this meal. On, on such a flight, especially on this A318 and Tarom, of course. So yeah, I'm gonna finish this tiramisu cake and then I'm gonna chill for the rest of the flight. Slovakia! Hello, hello, my home country, how are you? See you actually today, well, hopefully tomorrow morning in <laughs> at 1am, <one> <laughs> um, yeah. So once I arrive in London Heathrow, I will need to get to London Gatwick because I have a visa flight to Vienna in the evening and I'll probably, hopefully, get to Slovakia in around like midnight. Alright, it's time to check out the catalogs. We got two over here. This is probably like a magazine with some, you know, text and articles and some news about the airline or something. Oh, Prague. Interesting. Yeah, and some advertisements, visit Romania and so on. Alright, and here is the onboard menu catalog, so let's check it out. And also the in-flight service overall, like accessories and stuff. This is what they offer.
Apparently, there should be Wi-Fi. So let's check it out. A few minutes later. I don't think so. No, 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 no. I don't think so. No, 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 no. It's never, ever, 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 ever gonna happen. I don't think so. No, 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 no. Bye bye, Slovakia. We are now approaching the Czech Republic. Uh, hi there, Brno. So I got bored after some time, decided to check out the toilet and talk to the crew for a bit. They were very nice, very friendly and had a nice talk with them about the airline and why I'm here actually on this flight, just to fly on the A318. They were so glad to have an aviation enthusiast on board. Ladies and gentlemen, we are inside the toilet of the A318 of Taron Airways. Now, we are in the back toilet, it's quite spacious. Um, yeah, pretty much looks like the regular A320 family lavatory. We got the same uh, same gone Lauda, same toilet on yeah, basically any A320 aircraft. But you can see it's aged. A little bit. Also the light is not very bright. It's a little bit darkish here but uh, uh, this, this thing seems to be a bit clocked maybe. The water lasts for, ooh, for almost five seconds. Fantastic. All right, you even got toilet paper. Everything is here so coat hanger. So yeah, nice. So I just talked to the crew after I checked out the lavatory, the crew in the back. Um, the flight attendant I talked to, she's worked for Tarong for over 30 years, which is crazy. She's flown on the A310 as well. And she also flies currently on the ATR 737 and also this A318, which is getting retired. And that's why I'm actually flying here right now on this A318. She was very nice. Um, I also then moved um, to the front of the plane to talk to the other cabin crew members. We had a nice chat. They were very kind, very sweet, and uh, yeah, we talked about Tarom overall and this A318 and the aircraft and so on. It's uh, they were very kind, and I appreciate it. Also, so far it's been a very pleasant flight. I enjoyed my meal. So far I checked out the lavatory, we have already passed Slovakia, my home country, we're now somewhere above the Czech Republic, hold on, oh wait they just, uh... <laughs> okay, well, you have to trust me on this one, we are above Czech Republic right now, or once it uh, appears again I will show you, we are above Czech Republic right now, yeah, there we go, Prague, just to the right of us, somewhere over there, below the clouds. Sadly, it's gonna get scrapped like a few weeks after I after this flight. So uh, yeah, I don't know when this video comes out. Maybe like somewhere at the in the beginning of November 2024. Maybe I don't know. But when it comes out, the F-18 of Tarom is retired completely. Actually, Tarom made a different decision later. They decided to keep the A318 for a little longer until around the beginning of 2025 because the airline isn't in a very good financial situation right now. They got a lot of debt and they can't afford a replacement aircraft for the A318 just yet. Also, they got other problems such as a damaged ATR which got damaged somewhere during a bad weather or something, so now it's sparked and yet they have plenty of other problems as well. Also, the London Heathrow route that I'm taking here is a history now as of editing this video because Tarom sold their Heathrow slots and now the slots are owned by Qatar Airways. And presumably by the beginning of the next year, 2025, 
The A318 will also become a thing of the past. So if you still want to fly on the A318, if you haven't already, you still have the chance to do so before the end of the year. Now, I know some of you are saying Air France also still has a couple of A318s, but it is quite hard to get on one because they fly very randomly with these A318s to multiple destinations, and yeah, they basically operate a mix of aircraft such as the new A220 or the other A320 family aircraft such as the A319, A320, A321, so you have to be very lucky to fly on one with Air France. That's why I opted for Tarom here as there was a 100% chance that the London route will be operated with the A318. Alright, good afternoon. We have just started descending into London. But I can't see nothing, which sucks. It was always a dream of mine to fly on the baby bus. That dream finally came true thanks to Tarom and I got a relatively cheap flight for roughly 75 euros. The flight prices to London with Tarom kind of varied from time to time, sometimes costing even 200 euros or more. 
thanks to my very good friend Marco from Romania for providing me information about Tarom and the A318. Thanks to Tarom and the crew on board this flight for the lovely flight. I hope to be back on board the national Romanian carrier sometime in the future again, perhaps on one of their ATRs. And thank you guys so much for watching this flight review. Hope you enjoyed this video and if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel, share this video with others and supporting this channel in any way is highly appreciated. If you're interested, check out other aviation content I've done in the past and I'm already looking forward to have you on board another trip report very soon. Thank you and have a great one. Thank you so much Hi, for the wonderful fight. Thank you. Have Goodbye. a safe flight home and uh, <laughs> thank yeah, you. Good luck. see you again. Bye. Yeah, hopefully. Bye.